The statement reads, and I quote, over the past week, Inter-Caribbean Airways has experienced the number of interruptions that have caused frustration and inconvenience for passengers across the network. Due to unforeseen temporary staffing issues, it will likely take a few additional days for schedules to return to normal. Conscious that punctuality is a key component in air travel, we are making every effort to mitigate future disruptions. We regret that communication lapses exacerbated the negative experience for all valued passengers. Unquote. Lydon Gardner, founder and chairman of Inter-Caribbean Airways, also noted that and I quote, while flight disruptions are not unusual with any airlines, we take responsibility for the situation and are working to improve customer service and communication. He said during these difficult times, any request our passengers show understanding and patience towards our frontline ambassadors who are working tirelessly to assist you. Our team is doing everything possible to meet your needs and ensure your safety and comfort during your journey. Unquote. In June this year, Inter-Caribbean added a 780R42 to their fleet. These new large aircrafts are beginning to transition into service over the coming weeks and months. Additionally, the statement says the company is implementing a robust back-end communication system to enhance passenger notifications and proactively inform travelers when their flights are delayed or canceled. The airline notes their continued efforts to rectify the situation, encouraging passengers to stay updated on their flight status through their website and customer service channels. Inter-Caribbean operates flights between several Caribbean islands, including Antigua and Barbuda, the Bahamas, the British Virgin Islands, Cuba, Dominica, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, St. Lucia, Barbados, and Grenada. Inter-Caribbean Airways Limited is a regional airline based in the Turks and Caicos Islands, a British overseas territory. Chris Lena John, GBN News.